Hello, my dear friends, my lovely audiences. Welcome back to the show, Jack Chow on the East West with Jenny TV. Today on the gun control issue, uh, with my friend, Lo Wei, founder and CEO of California Sunshine Education Center, we seem to have good time by seeing the nature of the problem. Uh, when all is exchanged, all are discussed. We came to a point that it is a money-driven market. It is the money-driven market that no one who has the interest in the money will wa want to give up. All right, and of course, I ask a big question: How come the money goes by one name only? Right? Can anybody else get into the money? So, you have any take on that? Well, it's a. Uh you make it the things more complicated because it got involved <laughs> into par okay. partisan partisan You're wall. partisan <laughs> money. You're talking <laughs> about partisan, partisan money. It's think about it. Every time one uh, Democrat want to propose an mm. initi initiative mm. in the Congress in the mm. federal level, and the um, um, the emotion was uh, stopped uh, mm. in the Congress level because of the. Uh, Strong component from from the other side of the uh, mm -hmm. uh, Congress. Mm -hmm. It's it's it's. You mean opponents? Opponents. Uh -huh. Excuse me. It's um. It's complicated. Mm -hmm. uh, we can say that it's complicated, complicated. But when we just uh, pull out all the bubbles and when we see the in sense of the issue, it's basically number one. It's got it got it got involved with the money. Interest group. When, we, when, we, when I'm talking about interest group, what I mean is that the manufacturing manufacturers of guns and, and weapons um, throughout the industry. Or is that in history things started that way, or later they made it that way? I only cannot understand. The only part that I cannot understand is that how come the money all go by one name? Because uh, you mean the gun manufacturing yeah. name? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Because I think that making up a gun definitely have a huge benefit, a huge profit. Yeah, I know, I know, yeah. Why and Democrats uh, do not get, get involved? Because I think that's, that's probably what dynamic land, ma land it, it depends on the, uh, it was, uh, excuse me, it was just because that we have a different political landmark for the, uh, for those uh, uh, business no, owners, no, because no, uh, business yeah, owners yeah, intend right. to be mm -hmm. uh, Republicans, right? Uh -huh. And and uh, also, uh, NRA basically is a big supporter of the uh, that probably uh, of the Republicans. Yeah, that so probably it looks reminds like that me. They all blue collar, blue mm -hmm. in color, right? That's that uh, probably reminds me of another day. We probably want to get people from different angles, different parties, to I talk think about that's, it. That's they and to I'm not the right person find to out, talk about that. Yeah, to find out how come the money goes by one name only. <laughs> right? That's right. Why wouldn't uh, wouldn't Democrat get involved? Yeah, I would and suggest which that also, you which collect is also two legal, gentlemen from both which is, parties. Which is also legal, and which is also okay because it's under the Constitution, same Constitution. All right, you can run it, run it. I can run it too. Right, something like that. That's right. Okay, now, uh, my last thing, my last issue that I would like to share with you. Yeah, in this country, when everybody talks about gun control, right, do we really want, okay, now, uh, people even challenge, okay, let's lose up, let's, let's go, let's follow uh, Texas, right? Now that you, like guns that much, and uh, let everybody has one, have one, and you can walk on the street with with whatever you want. You want to wear, right? So would that prevent crimes I, from happening? I don't know. Uh, to 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 do that, I think probably we need to take a look at the uh, crime rates in tech in both Texas mm -hmm. and and Florida, where the uh, public carrying a gun is legal over no, there. No, not even not not necessarily higher than California. Well, we, we, that's a very good topic for somebody yeah. who is in the field uh -huh. to take a further look, look at the issue. And we may join out some interesting uh -huh. um, conclusion on that. But I'm not at the, 
at the position to talk about that because I do not have data. Uh. I do not have data. But my um, sense as a citizen, as an educated, civilized mm -hmm. people, I think that uh, we should do something as a government, as a community, together mm -hmm. to step on the paddle, mm. uh, break paddle of owning up a gun in this country. Well, Otherwise, any, anyway, we want to go into it. We want to find out the comparisons of crime rates. Of and each gun ownership. of each state. That's right. And versus their gun gun rules. That's right. right? That's right. Versus the gun control, the extent right. of gun control. That's find right. out. That's right. And my bigger question, still not answered, was that how come money goes by only one name? And also, I call for the attention for those lawmakers, those uh -huh. for their attention to the value of human being, not your political interests not the interest group that you're presenting mm -hmm. in a Congress. Make sure that you care and worry about uh, worth and value of the human being. Yeah, I thought I was gonna find out the California rate, a crime rate, and uh, versus, the, versus the Florida crime rate versus uh, Texas crime rate. And we'll find out there another day. Uh, my dear friend, my lovely audience, uh, I would want uh, you to uh, pay attention to the following. Uh, even though we still argue with gun rights, we gotta understand one thing under one condition that is all accepted, that we have a constitution that allows people to have a gun, all right? Uh, until that day the constitution is re-amended, that is the, the guideline, right? And number two, Guns do kill, all right? And then, number three, where we want to understand, there are still details that can be done. Are we working on the details? Or are we not willing to work on details? That makes a little difference, right? Uh, with my friend, Mr. Wei Lo, founder and the CEO of California Sunshine Education Center, we're having lots of fun, especially when the money part is mentioned when that probably shut everything up, <laughs> including me, myself. Yet, there is one thing I still not, under not understand, that is, how come the money all go by one name, right? That is uh, a question remain unanswered, that we would uh, like to make it a subject for another day. So, to my dear audience, uh, thank you very much for watching, and to my friend, Wei Lo, Thank you for sharing. Before uh, I conclude yeah, uh, today's sure. session, I would think that um, our hearts will go uh, for those yeah. who lost th their loved ones mm -hmm. in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Yeah. All right. So to them, uh, our thoughts are with them. So we'll see you next time. Hello friends, my dear lovely audiences, welcome to the show Jack Chow on East West with the GNE TV. Uh, for several times in a row, ever since the last the previous Sunday, when the mm, Las Vegas shooting broke up, uh, we have been talking about the uh, gun control issue, which is a old issue once again gone viral. You know, but this is a, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, it's a by logic, it is really something, a headache, that hang on here forever, almost forever. I had quite a discussion, some discussion with friends from different angles to see if gun control could be possible, or at least some kind of measures be taken in make it, make gun control more strict or stuff like that. And there are different views mm, from different angles all perspectives make sense. Uh, today, in addition, we have the pleasure of having Mr. Lo Wei, founder and the CEO of California Sunshine Education Center. And by the way, he is a successful educator who is now engaged in the US and China culture exchange, the school system exchange level, uh, by which he had run a experimental school in China 
which has elevated, which was number one, accepted by the Chinese and American government, uh, later was elevated to a point that both governments recognize that it is something, well, sustainable, something to be, well, to be pr promoted. So congratulations and welcome to the show. Thank you, Jack. And Understanding uh, you're just back from China. Just back from China. A few or days still overlagging. A little bit. <laughs> Try not to be Very uh, good. going to sleep mm. during the show. Did you come back before the shooting or after the shooting? Actually, after the shooting. I, after the shooting. Yeah, I heard the bad news uh, when I was in China. Oh, I see, and, I uh, see. It's just uh, so horrible, so, mm. so Did you get to know that right away of the incident? That's right, because uh, nowadays it's an internet world. And mm. uh, I probably, I got it, uh, I got the news minutes right after the disaster hap occurred. Mm. Here we literally saw them, saw the event happen. A few minutes, a few minutes after the midnight, uh, after after midnight. Uh, well, near midnight, yes. or even close to midnight, even before twelve o'clock, we, we started to see some uh, video clips, and uh, the audios and videos all together. We hear the gunfire itself, right? Okay, but it's very bad. Uh, once again, my dear audiences, every time something like that happens, we, at uh, this show, let the news perspective pass. The news will take care of itself, right? We're talking about flipping over the layer of news. We want to go underneath to find out what's inside. And this one, in this case, in the particular case, we're talking about an, an issue, an old issue, almost as old as for 200 years. Over 200 years. Uh -huh. And uh, still going viral at this time, I mean, once again. What's your take about gun control? Gun control is a big word. That's right. right? What, what, what do you, would, uh, what's your take about gun control? I take it from a different perspective. Mm -hmm. Take it, first of all, take it from a, from a rational uh, citizenship point of view, is that guns should be controlled. And at least, guns should be controlled that make sure that it will not fall into the hand. The wrong hand. Wrong hand, mm. that's right. Yeah, and, all right. Uh, someone, someone who is, uh, who is out of mind. Lunatic. And that is, mm. that is my, my first take from, from perspective. I think every, this is everybody's take that uh, guns should be controlled. Sh guns should be regular. Mm. O ownership of gun or any uh, weapon should be regulated uh, by the government. Right. This has been they ha this job has been uh, done or had to be done long time ago, but it's still an issue. Mm -hmm. I, as a citizen, we just uh, sometimes we're confused and we're totally lost. Why mm -hmm. that a simple question or what that a simple problem cannot be regulated in a country like USA? That's my right. first take. Uh -huh. And the second take is from the uh, history, historical as well as the from legal perspective mm -hmm. that I take, uh, my take is that it is a very, it's, it's a far more complicated issue than we everybody uh, as, a, as a normal citizen can think of mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it rooted back of 300 years of history of US mm -hmm. and English. Mm -hmm. And also it rooted back uh, into it, 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 it is uh, built upon the very complicated, sophisticated legal system of this country mm -hmm. that built upon with. Okay. So that's mm -hmm. my take. And uh, from the first take, I think guns should be controlled. From the second take, that guns should be controlled, but it's gonna be, because the problem form formatted over 300 years, mm -hmm. and it cannot be solved over another 100 years. Mm -hmm. That's my perspective, that's All my right. takeaway. Okay. You know, uh, Mr. Lowe, what bothers me most is the fact that uh, every time when the word or the term gun control is brought up, somebody gets allergic to it, and they go almost right away saying that it was given the right by Constitution. Right. Now, the problem is that there is a clear distinction in between gun rights banning, banning of gun, gun right, and uh, gun control, right? Gun control is only talking about measures of how we control guns. It doesn't have any attempt 
to overturn constitution, to overtake the gun rights. How come every time when this issue is mentioned, people always drag you to the point using a different ground, saying that you are going against the constitution, what you are doing is unconstitutional. This is one of the subjects that bothers me. What's your take? I think that if we want to take a look at the, uh, why that the gun ownership is legal in this country, we have to take a look at the second amendment mm -hmm. of our constitution, yeah. right? Yeah, and second, yeah, mm -hmm. second con constitution was uh, 10 of the uh, amendments mm -hmm. that for the first uh, attached, that made to the, uh, mm -hmm. to the uh, constitution. And it says that, um, I mm -hmm. cannot memorize the clearly the, the wordings, but it mm -hmm. says that uh, the uh, regulated right. militia. The regulated militia, yes. Mm -hmm. That ownership of a gun mm -hmm. is not mm -hmm. uh, infringed. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? Yes. Is that something? Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's just like a half, half cup, half, um, excuse, half, half cup of, half cu cup of water. Mm -hmm. uh, positive people say that it's half full Mm -hmm. But uh, negative, negative people say ne people who are negative seeing it as have, have empathy. empathy. Okay. That's something uh. that maybe if I can, if I if if I mm -hmm. have to to make a comparison, mm -hmm. this is probably close uh, to the situation that the gun control, and people see it that it is uh, not regulated. Ownership of of the gun in this country is not regulated. It's a freedom sure, that sure, sure, granted sure. by right, the Constitution. Good, good, okay. But some people say that mm. this is the ownership that mm. Constitution mm -hmm. put on regulation on that. All right. That's how that we uh, put Yeah, of course, of course. I do understand to where you are about uh, on this uh, c amendment number two for a Constitution. But the thing is that we got to look at the Constitution and the rights in a uh, a uh, historical perspective, a point of view, call it that way, right? Number one, that time, the government, the government was just formulated, was just formed up, right? Good or bad, no, nobody knows. So you guys have the right to control guns, to have guns, so that if anything goes wrong, go attack the government, overturn it, uh, militarily, right? So that's what we call the militia, term militia is used because you form yourself as a kind of an arm, call yourself militia. Self-defense militia. Self-defense, right? right? Okay, That's now, right. Number, right. Two, number one. Number two, those times, back then, you're talking about the single shot. You're talking about the gunpowder, boom, <coughs> boom, like That's that right. kind of That's thing, right. right? That's right. There is no bullets like you nowadays. There is no magazine like no nowadays. There is no the automatic or semi-automatic like nowadays you have. You have thousands of uh, different types of guns, so things are developed. So now, talking about the gun killing abilities, it is a hundred times worse than the beginning. That's right. Now, I have no problem with the Constitution. Uh, by a matter of fact, I'm, I myself very con consider myself very, very constitutional. Right. Well, we go abide by constitution, yet under the constitution, under the prerequisites, we all respect constitution. Do you think, or do you not agree, that something c still could be done definitely. to make situation a little better? De definitely, because uh -huh. I think the constitution is not uh, iron curtain. Uh, that cannot be changed, mm -hmm. never been changed. Mm -hmm. Actually, we made amendment uh, right after we made the... Uh, yeah, there, there have been 27 amendments fathers, already. Uh, yeah, yeah, we have mm -hmm. already made, wh why not make an 11 and 12 and, mm -hmm. and con continuous? Because right, sure. the world developed the different times mm -hmm. and, and have we should in place a different mm -hmm. law mm -hmm. and constitution, law system mm -hmm. into a developed society mm -hmm. and, and time. For example, the gun, the second amendment that make ownership illegal mm -hmm. in this country was back in 1780s, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Almost 300 years passed already. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, almost 300 years. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 270 
some years pass right, already, okay. right? Mm. And by then, as you said, that the gun was the powder well, driven. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And mm. now, uh, the gun, um, it's, we're talking about- Unsophisticated. Un mm. Unsophisticated, Cold War type mm. of gun. Mm. And now we're talking about um, yeah. automatic okay. uh, w rifles in mm. different um, uh, calibers and, mm -hmm. and different powders. Yeah, you're uh, talking about 34 different guns 30, that's right, in that's a single right. uh, And for example, uh, hotel this guy, room. That's this guy right. holding like about okay, 23 to, to 33. Okay, my dear audience, today with my good friend, Mr. Wei Lo, founder and CEO of California Sunshine California Education Center and uh, educator, uh, expirator. I mean, I would like to uh, share with you some of his thoughts on the issue of gun control. Uh, let's uh, take a very short moment now. When we come back, we'll continue from that point on. Stay with us. Hello, lovely audiences, ladies and gentlemen, uh, my dear fellow Americans, welcome back once again talking about some serious issues, uh, I would say most serious issues uh, that we have on hand, that is gun, gun control in the week of the Las Vegas shooting. Uh, with me, my good friend, Lo Wei, founder and CEO of California Sunshine Education Center, uh, we're sharing his thoughts on gun control uh, issue. Uh, well, there's a lot of people who are so allergic to the word the gun or control whatsoever. Every time when the term gun control is brought up, they thought we we're overturning uh, Amendment Number Two. Which, matter of fact, we don't. We all agree that we we'll go by the by of the Constitution. We will, we are only talking about under the prerequisites of confirming our constitution, could we do something to the details of, con of controlling guns, something like that, right? And yesterday, no, yesterday, uh, a few days ago with my friend Ken Hemming, uh, we were talking about uh, setting up some more strict standard at the gun purchase for background check. Right. Do you think you agree with that? I totally agree with it. And mm. a gun, any, any buying a gun should be uh, put into a highly regulated um, legal environment and a governmental environment, mm. uh, supervi supervisional environment. That's, right. That is my point of view. So number, one, number two is that even if we, in California, because out of uh, 50 states, that only 31 states put on some kind of uh, uh, gun controlling uh, policy uh, within the state. Mm -hmm. Out of uh, 50, still 19 of them mm -hmm. do not or do not have much of the gun controlling yeah, yes, when yes, buying yes, a gun yeah, out yeah, there. Yeah, 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 right. So it's, um, it's, we have to synergize, we have to have a synergized uh, movement mm -hmm. in controlling the, the gun buying in this country because um, Although you mentioned that uh, this is the right of th that the, our constitution granted to every uh, citizen in this country, however, mm -hmm. and si we when we're talking about constitution, constitution is existing. It's just because it it is existing for the purpose of protecting the value of human life. Yes, yes, you're right. If you mm -hmm. cannot do that, uh, that's mm -hmm. any institution, yeah, only right, any right, act right. should be removed mm -hmm. or reconsidered. Mm -hmm. That's my that's my takeaway. Yeah, you're right. And you're right. Uh, mm. because of this amendment, we created so much problem. Take a look at the uh, mm. at the uh, at other part of the world. Uh, none of the countries, mm. uh, industrialized, most advanced countries like the USA, have mm. has such a gun problem mm. within our country. And also, out of uh, 380, mm. 380 million people, we have like about 400 million guns in this mm. country. Think about how much of the problem could be created. On the other hand, we probably should uh, want to see the other side of the coin. The other side of the coin is that the fact that we have gun rights that challenges government abusives, right? 
these situations where the government abuses so much, and of course people are frightened, right? Just to give give you a challenge uh, uh, condition. Suppose if you assign everybody in Korea, in North Korea, the right of gun, of ownership to, uh, to guns, you check what will happen. The government will just back off. Do you think so? <laughs> That's the government will back off. That yeah, that is uh, that is a very interesting topic you just brought mm -hmm. up, and I think that yeah, ownership of weapon is definitely a risk to the injustice of the government. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is yeah. one point. The of challenge yeah. to government, the challenge of injustice, government has government. to watch itself. That's right. Never That's go right. overboard. You will never go too much. Because, but, mm -hmm. but um, if you just take a review of the history. Have you had any kind of gun rebellion mm -hmm. when people encountered injustice of yeah, the government? I do. do you have any course. case of I that? do. Of course, sure, sure. There's one case. A year ago, somewhere in Las Vegas, over a ranch, remember that? That's right. Yeah. I can't remember exactly the name of the ranch or the person well, as the owner of the ranch, but it's a big story. That across the nation, everybody knows about it, and even, even out across the world, right? We're talking about the government wants to uh, confiscate the uh, land. The landowner says, "Is my range, I and know I that story. for I hundreds story. of years, generations after generations." That's right. And then they, and they mobilized all the militia around the, that area on horseback. They got together. They kind of a stand up, made it a stand up. They stood up for like a week or something, right? And they have their guns and all kinds of things. They have even their own. Helicopters, right? So, the government, the bad federal, had to back off I because in, in, a, in the long run, they feel f people found out somewhere in the Senate House, somebody in the Senate House had a little little interest in the land. So, with the developers, they want to sell the land to the developer. Guy says, "I will not. I just will not. It's my land." Okay. Like that thing. So the government had to battle. That is the successful example showing how guns work out. How many sex? Yeah, there's only one. It's how, okay. How Sales on time, yeah. How many successful case can you brought up? Yeah, very little, that very that little, one? yes, very little. That's right. That's, yeah, very that's what I, I, I mentioned that mm -hmm. the, um, in, of course, uh, for the extreme situation, mm -hmm. for the extreme case, that the, uh, this is the uh, successful case that the uh, ordinary people holding up their weapon to resist mm -hmm. to the injustice or in fear treatment from the government. Yeah. I know mm -hmm. that case. We know that case. However, I think that I'm not a lawyer and you are not either. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, had, we may brought in a, a lawyer talking about afterwards issues of the uh, of the incidents, I don't know if that guy is um, was uh, breaking the law um, and get a trial afterwards. It's interesting. No, we need no. to find it out. They, they, but the anyway, guy is still still okay now. That's yeah. right, because we have uh, my takeaway from that case is mm -hmm. that we are entering. We are here mm -hmm. in the twenty first interest. Uh, I interest. We have legal system built up since the funding of this country mm -hmm. for over three, 270 years mm -hmm. already. And we have uh, complicated, supplicated, mm -hmm. and uh, tra uh, traditional law education. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of professionals practicing law on the both side. And uh, my, what I'm saying is that we have much more means and tools to protect ourselves in the court instead mm -hmm. of uh, in the field with gun. That's my takeaway. Mm, okay, all right. That's quite a take because you have enough protections already. But the thing is that when by constitution, when you are assigned, where you were vested with the right of owning guns, we are not talking about overturning the right. We're talking about under the prerequisite. We want to handle our guns more sober-mindedly so that we want to pre prevent, number one, Guns are falling to the wrong hands. Uh, number two, accidental friendly fire or something, right? Or getting into the hands of children and stuff like that. Those are the details, and those details altogether has no intention to overturn gun rights. Do you think we can confirm that? 
there's no question about that. Mm. I, I, I stand for that many, many uh, shows before uh -huh. this presentation today. I think that we should do something even more than that. And it is amazing. Somebody found out checking about crime rate of Texas, whereby people can could take can wear concealed weapons. In other words, put a pixel on, are you a bud, you're okay. As long as it covers by your jacket, you're okay. Right? So considering Texas and California. And also Florida. Uh, also Florida, right? You will not find that the crime rate in Texas higher than California. On the contrary, you cases in cases, there are moments you'll find California even worse than, than Texas. So those are interesting issues. I do not have that number, not, but that uh, yeah, would be very do, interesting I don't have person. the exact number, but I have, according to my previous study, the numbers are not, uh, not, not, not making a big difference. There's, a, there's another theory is that uh, if we just uh, protecting, if we forbid the gun buying, that mm -hmm. the, uh, uh, the good people would not protect themselves uh, when the bad people would, would, would shoot at them. Right? That's the one theory. I don't know. I don't know. Lots of, uh, lots of different theory. P people say, for example, last but time in, 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 in Germany, uh, when that, uh, that uh, truck ran into the crowd, right? That's right. People say if somebody had a gun on the spot shooting at the driver, at least it could stop, st stop the incident from going even worse. That's uh, that's example number one is that uh, Germany, in, Ger in Germany, that mm -hmm. people is uh, prohibited to owning a gun, number, no, number one. Number two is that mm -hmm. even in the incident happened to be, uh, there's a people carrying out a gun mm -hmm. and, and, and happened to be shoot at the uh, criminal over there, suspect over there, and would uh, save a lot of people. This is, those are all imaginations. Think about well, if, anyway. you, if you take a review at all those disastrous cases, uh, cases in Las, Las Vegas, say, cases in Florida last year, and cases in Sandy, uh, Sandy Hills, mm, Sandy uh, Hook uh, School, Sa Sandy yeah. Hook School. Mm. and uh, we have so many good people over there. We have so many uh, liberalized gun ownership in different states, but none mm. of the good people came out, stand up, stood up, with that gun and shoot at the victim. Well, uh, I, would not, at, at, I would, at I would rather, Excuse me. I would not, not rather uh, use the word good people, None of bad those cases. people. I would say just by people's own choices, all right? My dear friends, my lovely audiences, let's take a short moment now. When we come back, we'll jump to the educational perspective. On that layer, we'll see what can be done, what can be discussed, at least can be discussed, or shared about uh, on that level. So stay with us, please. Hello, lovely audiences, my dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, my dear fellow Americans. Welcome back to the gun control discussion. Joining me is my friend, Mr. Wei Lo, founder and CEO of California Sunshine Education Center. And he is also a uh, uh, successful with his uh, experimental school in China, Weihai of uh, Shandong, China. That's right. right. That school was confirmed to be very successful, at which point they combine the American curriculum with, their ch with that of Chinese and to produce a brand new one that includes both. Right. And I personally had the pleasure of interviewing some of the friends from that school, I believe the year, no, last summer, no, summer before. Uh, three years ago. The three summer summers before, ago. Two, right. two summers before. That's right. And well, they tend to, they look like I'm very really good, twice. very good student to me. And they are the least above the average of the Chinese students of their age. Right. So for that essay, that, that's a huge credit. Uh, with the issue today, I'm talking about there is a whole area dragging along, dragging us along to education. Right. 
For education, I'm not exaggerating. Let me ask you this. We are all under constitution. We all love, we all swear to the, to the constitution to, to which the flag, the flag stands, flies by. Okay. And then we are, we share the same right, the same thing. Now, if there are people who go against it, and then there are people who go, who are proactive in it, there should be a ring, random sketch, like shuffled a deck, right? You can't say, you can't say all hearts and diamonds are for it, all the clubs and the spades are, uh, are, are going against it. You do not have a clear cut. How come? Why in the country? You see the left, you see the right. You see the Republicans, you see the Democrats, and they go either ways, 180 degrees with a clear cut in between. That is the fact. That is phenomenon that bothers me. Any, do you have any, anything? <laughs> it's very simple. It's everything has been politicalized. I know. When, the issue also When you can poli political, I mean politicalize it, how come there is a, the line is so correct? Because clear. people live by groups. That's people's nature. Mm -hmm. People live, especially in our in, in modern societies, uh, people live in groups. And uh, it happened to be that we have the biggest uh, two groups in this country, Republican and Democrat. And I can't see why the Democrats are opponents of uh, gun rights and the Republicans, whereas the Republicans are proactive for gun, for gun rights. The, well, there, there is no reason, no political reason let me for tell them you. to be that thing. Let me tell you, let me tell you, uh -huh. it's just because of the money. The money. The money. The money. Okay. Do you know? Okay. Do you know? That's we, you. we all know that the biggest uh, gun lobby organization or gun ownership rides are NFR. Uh, NFR. Mm -hmm. How much money did you know that they donated yeah, 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 okay. to Trump, Donald Trump? Mm -hmm. Four millionaires. Uh -huh. And how much money they spent on promoting gun ownership last mm -hmm. year? Did you can you, can you make a wild no. guess? Uh -huh. Uh, 20 50 million. 50 million. Okay. 50 million dollars mm. upon into promotion of gun ownership as uh, well uh. as the rights or benefits of owning a gun in this country. It's a huge amount of money. I see. And also, this organization is so influ influential. Mm -hmm. And we have six presidents being the member of this organization. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm not against, totally against the ownership of a gun, a pistol, or yeah, for entertaining. Under for, yeah, under constitution, you have the right to do so. That's right. Yes. That's why we enjoy the, the right of it. Yes, yes, but yes, what, yes. what we're talking about, the things that go beyond this constitution, right of a citizenship, it mm. is a criminal. We're talking about cri criminal. And all those cases are the cases that gun falling into right, wrong hands, mm -hmm. right? So we're talking about how we, we as a rational mm -hmm. and educated, civil, ci civil, uh, civilized mm -hmm. society can work together from mm -hmm. both poles, from a Republican and Democrat, together. Mm -hmm. We just uh, give up our ideology. I know, but the problem is that it is not that everybody knows what you're talking about. Right? Well, and it is not uh, everybody who sees the way you see. They don't see the money. I'm glad you mentioned that because I adore, uh, uh, adore very much one proverb saying every time if you can't find it, and, and also you follow I, the money. That's right. And yeah. also I want to share with you that mm -hmm. the uh, right after the shooting, Las Vegas shooting, mm -hmm. Second day, mm -hmm. the stocks listed in Wall Street for those gun manufacturers mm -hmm. went up crazily. Mm -hmm. So, red, red stocks? The, the stocks for the gun manufacturers oh, right, I up, see, I see. Oh, oh, I right see. after the day of uh, mm -hmm. uh, Las Vegas shooting. Uh -huh. 
everything commercialized. Everything is money driven, mm, right? Okay. So when we're talking about when 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 people seeing when the, especially for those interest group see the huge benefit mm. and uh, obviously the mm. the value of human being life mm. is ignored. That's okay, a, that's okay. a problem. That probably uh, the, that brings us down to uh, another layer. layer of, uh, of uh, where we thought we were going to stay uh, above education or even below education there is money to talk about am i right that's okay, right now the problem is here how are we going to educate the people i mean we the people we the people taxpayers to understand that that there it is not a gun issue it is money issue that's right that's how we want to do that i think that i want if you want to if you wanted to invite me to talk about this issue later and your platform your v video station and your audience are the best people that we can just start up our sh to, s to start up sharing yeah, sure, our sure. thoughts okay, about okay, this right. and also okay. if you agree with if which you is right now let's if do it. you agree with what I thought of about mm. the gun controlling what's the interest group group be, group behind the the, the wall of, mm. of uh, mm. gun con mm. gun control excuse mm. me mm. and uh, how the uh, money was driving this mm. industry up and up uh, beyond the human being life uh, mm. life value mm. that we can share with our thought and my thought and and our value what we talked about today okay. to your friends and the friends friend and then we just spread over these kind of thought into our society into our community mm. and make a consen consensus that gun should be controlled ownership of a gun should be regulated our amendment second amendment should be amended that's my point again mm -hmm. after 300 years of enact of these amendments uh, i'm not necessarily supporting the idea of amending uh, amendment number two i'm saying that underneath using the same amendment we can still right you know re remember just now you could re recall the amendment say regulate it right regulate it to regulate it now we want to regulate the gun the guns gun ownership now, yeah the gun ownership now let's regulate so the way to regulate is we want to do want to tighten the background check right we we want to, and uh, uh, last friday when i was with uh, mr ken hamming we were also discussing about uh trainings necessary training now what you do to a counter, you pick up a gun like this, right? You fill out a test to, 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 to indicate how well you are in a position to control your gun. So there is no actual practice, right? So your ability of uh, mastering your gun is just based upon the judgment of the test, of the written test. So how about Let's go into some uh, training, I intensive I training. I totally agree with you. This training is a kind of education. And mm -hmm. also another thing is that we as a government or as a uh, consensus, we should do something on the number of the guns that pe uh, one individual can own. Mm -hmm. that, That's that, a good that thought. Is another number mm -hmm. two. And my, uh, the ultimate goal into this is that for the first, pr for the first phrase, that we need to collect consensus in our community that make mm. sure that a gun should be ownership of a gun should be regulated a number of the gun mm. each individual owns should be limited to a certain level and mm. second phrase is that we will be definitely take an overview of this gun ownership policy and make sure that it is uh, also have two two sides and best sides and 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 good sides and make sure that we would just uh, face out the ownership of gun. Uh, that's my p personal view. I, you may not agree with me. Mm. And uh, by the third, which is ultimate goal, is that we will in this con in, in this co society we will definitely make sure that the weapon, especially rifles and deadly weapon, will only be owned by the law enforcement and our military group. 
and not auxiliary submachine gun. Yeah, no. That's autom ultimate goal. No, uh, no automatic machine guns. That's right. Yeah. Especially, mm -hmm. especially those rifles and, uh, and pistols. Not even, fine. not even semi. That's not not, not even se semi rifles. Mm -hmm. And that's my ultimate goal. As I said in the in the previous at the beginning of this program, that the gun owner problem, uh, gun ownership is not created. Uh, this year, last year, it was created 300 years ago and all cannot right. be solved, okay, cannot right, be okay. phased out in the next 100 years. Right. At least we yeah, collect yeah, yeah. consensus thank you, thank and make a goal. There's a one thing, of that. There's one thing I still have a hard time understand. I do agree it is a money driven money industry, driven. right? That's right. And how come the part I do not, do not understand is that the money, how come the money goes by Republicans, not to, not, not to Democrats? Well, the Democrats uh, should should be should should get get some interest in it, right? Because they are the same proud Americans, right? If they want to, can they? Can they? Can they not? All right. Let's take a very short moment, my dear friends. There are lots and lots of issues to talk about. Uh, with my with me today is my good friend, Mr. Wei Law. Can uh, Wei Law is a founder and the CEO of uh, California Education Center. And he travels between the two countries, doing experimental in education successfully. And he, right now, sharing his thoughts on gun control, uh, which, of course, we want to make it educational. Right. So stay with us, please.